Hey all, so I had a subject for today based on a conversation that I had over the holiday weekend. PlayStation 5, so when is the supply going to meet demand? Up until recently, it looked like even Metal Jesus Rocks, so he's a retro gamer, um, retro channel for all of you that follow this kind of stuff. He didn't even have his PS5 until somewhat recently, and I was talking to a friend yesterday I was under the assumption, I don't have one yet, I haven't really been looking, I have a lot of retro content to get through, so I haven't gotten a PS5. But up until recently, I had thought that, you know, if anybody that wanted one was going to get one. Well, you can get them, but they're very, very expensive. I have an image here, I'm actually up on my browser, as you can see, and the cost is around $1,000 down to about $750. And you can get them for sometimes around $500, 550 but the question is are you getting a good deal is it some kind of an aftermarket product is it something that's broken and has been refurbished and you never know so anyway is this because of covid is this because they were underproduced is it because of shipping issues you can see this in the housing market as well i went and looked at some new builds just because i don't know much about them and it was just a thing to do on the weekend it was kind of fun actually so i walked around and looked at some houses that were going up and if you don't know the process typically when ground is broken people go and they work with a company and the company will have a plot of land and then they basically will break it up into units or property units and then they will build on it and they're having issues right now because of supply issues with COVID, and so home ownership is uh, going up, the cost to build houses because of raw materials is going up, so it's affecting everything. So could this be affecting the PS5 in terms of uh, reduced production? It, I, I think it might have more to do with shipping, but at the same time, it's clearly being impacted. I had another subject that I didn't really want to break into another video, but I had an affiliate when I tested my links the other day, and they were called Razor Skins. And basically, it sounds suggestive, but really all it is is game control covers, and they specialized in PlayStation, PlayStation 5. My affiliate link didn't work, and so I was doing some updates to my site. And like I said, I'm a solo channel owner, so when I don't have time to test everything, it just kind of goes and, and this was the first time that I caught something that was actually legitimate broken. So I don't think too many people went there because nobody complained about it, but the website was completely gone. So yes, when you look at small sales forces that have to do with YouTube or associate themselves with YouTube and social media, you know, a couple weeks of no business or a couple months of bad business, these companies could be gone. But it still kind of caught me off guard because they had a discount code that they had for my affiliate status. They had a really good deal I wanted to buy. The problem is I couldn't find anybody who had a PS5 to actually buy these uh, controllers for and ship them. I was going to drop ship to a couple friends and nobody had a PS5 that I could find. And the cost, on, as you can see here, was $15. On the affiliate that I had, it was around $15, and then they had a new promotion where you could get some things for under $5, and so that's including shipping. Well, the unless I'm wrong, Razor Skins completely disappeared as a company. So here's WRaptorSkins.com, and that's uh, there, it seems like there's some competition. So I wasn't able to find SkinIt.com, I wasn't able to find Razor Skins. Their website, it said mark your URL or create your own URL, so the website was completely gone. Is this because there isn't enough current PS5 consoles for people to actually have a demand signal for controllers? I don't know, it's just something interesting I wanted to share. But I think COVID is definitely affecting the market. Retro gaming community, there's been some fluctuation in prices. I haven't been tracking it uh, religiously lately, but it's uh, everything's being affected by COVID. But anyway, that's the topic of the video today. You know, hopefully you all enjoyed this. Uh, let me know if you have any thoughts on it. Feel Like I said before, feel free to DM me on Instagram or send me an email. I'm hitting comments here and there. You know, if you put a comment, I may or may not see it. Just wanted to give you a warning. Uh, but lightly, topically covering uh, small sales that have to do with YouTube channels. So 
an affiliate for those of you that don't know it's basically when you're contacted by a company or you reach out to a company and they allow for a commission to go to you based on association with that company now I like to focus on companies that have uh, something to do with games or something relatively um, that maybe if, it, if it's a stretch something that I can um, that, that I can use that's associated with the retro community so that being said am I gonna look at more affiliates I don't want to spend too much time on it I don't think I'm really getting a lot out of it I think I need more subs I need more channel growth and I need to worry about content before I do that so I don't want to focus on the wrong initiative here and then lose content which is what people go to my channel for so I don't want to have you all get bombarded by stuff too when I should be providing content that brings you back so if there's content that people like it makes everybody happy it's fun for me to make you all like to watch it there's a reason for you to come to my channel all that kind of thing so it's it, there's balances just like with anything else but anyway thanks for watching feel free to like share and subscribe more to come. Also, have a great weekend. I'm going into a holiday weekend here, and depending on when I post this, and have a good week.